Hello everybody and welcome to your 30 second Allegro 5 tutorial and in this tutorial we're going to be learning about one last camera effect and that's fading. Uh, now I never planned on making this video but I just before I was going to make the loading time maps video for this tutorial but I went on my website on the forum and uh, the user Albertito Loren, I hope I pronounced that right. Uh, he posted a question that was uh, regarding how to do like fading and or like how to do a day and night system and how to have like uh, certain things be brighter than other things etc etc. Uh, so I decided to uh, teach you a fading system and with this fading system you can use it to activate day and night systems etc etc. Uh, so there's many ways you can go about uh, fading, right? You can change. You could draw. <coughs> excuse me, sorry for that. We could. You could draw all. You could use like AL draw tinted bitmap, and you can uh, all draw um uh, a transparency for each image or a global transparency uh, where you want everything to be drawn or tinted to, right? Uh, but there is there is an easier way. Uh, some of you might like this way, some of you might not, but by far this this is a, a really just easy way to handle it without much confusion. Uh, so, first of all, I made a, a black image like like so, and it's the screen size. You can make it half of the screen size since it's the continuation from the split screen. Uh, but it, in reality, you wanna you if you have a, if you're not doing split screen, you're gonna wanna make it the size of the screen itself. Okay, so what we're going to do with this black image is that we're going to, first of all, make it fully transparent. Then when we fade in, we're going to increase the transparency value, and therefore it's going to uh, kind of put like a black cover over the screen. It's going to look like <clears throat> everything is fading, okay? So you'll see how we do so later. So we have a bitmap called Fader, and we name it Fade, uh, and we load in our, our Fade image. Now before we continue, in our camera struct we have <clears throat> we have our fade variable right there. Okay? So at the top of our update, we just need to say fade is equal to the the player numbers camera's fade value. And then after down here, we just say if they press the F key, then we increase fade by one. And if they press the G key, they decrease the fade by one, right? <clears throat> And don't forget to add this code for the degrees. Uh, I never added that in the previous tutorials, uh, but in the source code, it's, uh, I will be updating the source code on the website to incorporate this as well. <clears throat> uh, so, so yeah. So once we uh, once we do that, then we set the player numbers fade uh, uh, the fade value equal to the new fade value. <clears throat> so once we do that, everything else remains the same. And if we go to our program, what we want to do <clears throat> is we want to draw our black image over what we want in order to be transparent. So in this case, the main player is going to be able to fade, but the, the other player that is on that certain screen is not going to be uh, fading, right? And that's good, like say you have like torches or you have a light, something that stays lit up or whatever all the time <clears throat> and you don't want it to fade, uh, then you can do this as well. So after I've drawn the the main player and the background, what I've done is I said draw a tinted bitmap. I draw the fader bitmap and I do AL map RGBA and I set it to 000 since it's black. And we set the we set the alpha value equal to the fade value of the current camera. And then we set our position 00 and we set that to null. Now, after that's when we draw the player or the secondary player on that screen. So that secondary player is not going to be, uh, it's not going to fade with the rest of the game elements. And last but not least, what I forgot to do, what I'm always forgetting to do, is we need to destroy our bitmap. So bitmap fader. Oh, I didn't even spell uh, destroy properly. Uh, so I don't like laptops sometimes. I rather a mouse, but yeah. <clears throat> so if we run this program right here, 
And if if we look right, uh, <clears throat> if we look on the left screen, that's our screen that's toggled right now. If I press F, you see everything starting to fade except for our second player over here. So that's always thing lit up. So if you have like a day and night system or something, and you want it to, oh, and you want to go from day to night, right? We can say that this is the day, and when you progress through the day or whatever, if you have a day and night system, you can have it slowly fade and have everything else seem dark. And then if you have torches or something, then you can have, like, uh, those lit up values or whatever could represent torches or whatever. Or you can have, like, a surrounding area where you, you put light or whatever, whatever. It depends on you. On you. Uh, those weren't, wouldn't be the best for light effects, but if you wanted it like that, then you could. <clears throat> So as you can see, uh, everything is faded, and so it kind of looks like a night in our in our world, right? And if I toggle again, right here, I can fade it. I can fade it out, so it can make it. We can if if we want to have like a fading screen or something like that, or whatever, like you want to fade to transition from one screen to another, you could use this as well. If you want to do a day and night screen uh, cycle, anything you want, you you could do it with this. So that is it for this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for watching and bye.